right that a kid should have their entire future career blighted by having an arrest record for being caught in a room where marijuana was kept or for smoking a joint of marijuana when they're a kid in college or a young kid. And that's exactly what happens. Everyone here seems to emphasize the kids. Now, how can you communicate with them when they got flowers in their ears where they can't hear and hear down to their hip pockets? The young person, other minority group members have a much greater chance of being arrested and are arrested. And if this continues, we're going to decimate the, the youthful population of America. That's exactly what's going to happen. If any one of us has a kid who's arrested, there's going to be an arrest for a narcotic violation on his record for the rest of his life. He can't go in the Peace Corps. He can't teach school. He can't be a cop. What's he the difference if he committed murder or does he have an arrest record? Fine, if he committed murder, oh, he's harmed oh, someone. Can any law be effective, especially a law dealing with marijuana, when there is so much controversy yeah. from so not. many eminent people. people. No law can be effective that actually, that, that, that tries to regulate or legislate private morality. You can't make homosexual That's laws effective. You can't make, of could you pass not. a law that says it's a crime to masturbate? You couldn't enforce it. There's laws on the book that say, thou shalt not fornicate either. And you wouldn't go around arresting kids for fornicating. Well, I, I know you lie, well, you, you don't even know it's it against is. the law. It You're a hell of a law, As a matter of fact, sex is illegal in most of America. Everything's that illegal in America. America. You know, it's illegal, illegal, immoral, or threatening. It's that simple. I think we've... The late 1960s, and as the 1970s started in 1970, marijuana was a felony. Possession of marijuana was a felony under federal law. It was a felony in every state in the country. Here in California, uh, in the 1960s, the possession of a single marijuana cigarette carried a mandatory minimum sentence of one to ten years in state prison. And people went to California to to state prison for up to 10 years for possessing a single joint. In Texas, until the efforts of Normal and Keith Strop revitalized the, the reform movement down there, possession of a single marijuana cigarette in the state of Texas carried a life in prison sentence. And people went to prison in Texas for life for a single marijuana cigarette.